Hello everyone, it's Tom so, 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 and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Star Citizen. Today I'm going to be taking out my C1 Spirit, which is a cargo ship at its heart, but it is a multi-rule ship. You can do a little bit of everything. I personally like to go bounty hunting in it. But the best part about the C1, unlike the Sully in my last video, was is the fact that since I kill things, if they have cargo on them, I can just grab the cargo. So I am going to see if I can do that, and we're going to run a little bit of cargo while we're at it. No harm in making a little extra money on the side. I'm a bounty hunter, but that doesn't mean that I can't yoink a little cargo here and there. Finders keepers and all that. However, a lot of these guys are carrying around less than legal substances. But honestly, I don't really care. I care that I get paid. My hangar door is already open. I don't trust that, even for a second. I'm going to make sure I call ATC before I leave. I do have my ship kitted out with slightly different weapons. I believe I have Rattler missiles equipped. I think they restock. They should have. They should be in there, if I'm not mistaken. I actually don't know where they are. I don't know where the missiles come from on this ship, now that I think about it. I'm not sure. Uh, I have switched out the main armament, though, for Quarreler cannons, because I do really like them. Uh... I really enjoy the way they sound, they handle great, etc, etc. Also, you can hear me over the orchestra that's currently playing. Uh, you'll notice that I have a, a little button here. I, the C1 has a fuel line, and it just comes out as a little dongle like that, so, you know. Interesting. Why? I don't know, but it's that's where it is, so. And it is the only exterior panel that opens. It also doesn't like to close, apparently. Alright, there it goes. Cool. Uh, turns out if you also leave that down, it doesn't close unless you, like, go out and close it on your own, so... Gotta be careful! <laughs> uh, make sure I have a tractor beam. I do. Okay, cool. Welcome to C1. Back here's your components. Your small, small components for a ship this size. I, that is my biggest complaint about this thing, is that the components are very small. It is a big ship. It is supposed to be a cutlass competitor, but it is, like, almost double the size. So, it's rough, but it's fine. It looks nice, though. The cargo bay has great lighting. Um, it's a nice thing. You can fit a 32 SU box on each side, which is nice for a ship this size. It does hold a lot of cargo for what it is. I personally like to fit a 32 on this side, a 32 on this side if I can. And then, if you actually stand boxes up on end, like this, up and down, right? You can fit, like, a whole nother row in here. Plus, you can put some cargo back there. You can't access your components, but that's not an issue right now. And you can also, it's a little tight to put a box in here, technically you could, but but you can actually slot one in right here, <laughs> which is really funny, because I only need the one bed, so. This thing actually holds, on paper it holds 64 SCU. In practice, it holds however much it can fit. For now, once they add in the actual cargo... Uh, Physi uh, physical everything, that's going to be a problem. Cleared to launch, okay. I don't know why my hangar's still open. I don't really trust it. But I'm going to try it and see what happens. For some reason though, when I called it back out, my ship took quite the beating. I don't know what happened. I think there might be some bugs with the C1, but that's because it's brand new. But normally this would be nice and pristine on the bottom here, right? You know, down here. All those damage holes. These ones right here. Uh, yeah, that's not supposed to be like that. But hey. Ooh, glad I know what the camera buttons are in this game. I would hate my life if I didn't. While we're flying up here though. To get some contracts here. Now I want to go for high risk if I can. If I can get very high, that would be even better. But I'm going to go high risk. Because they tend to usually maybe have a ship with cargo on it. Maybe. Also gonna grab called arms. If you don't grab called arms, you're doing it wrong. Okay, where are we going here? Asteroid surrounding yellow. I can do that. Let's get a route blotted. And now, like I say, the main focus of the day isn't just bounty hunting. So if this guy doesn't have it, I'll just cut to the next guy. The main goal here is shoot down things with cargo in them, because I wanna sell it. Meantime, let's get that. And it's spooling up. Where am I jumping to? Oh, I can jump straight to the moon. Let's go. Let's turn sideways, we get a nice view. Again, my chip is damaged. It's not supposed to look like this. Also, I'm rocking the white and red paint just because I like it more. The white and blue is fine. I don't hate it. 
it fits well with Crusader. I mean, it's, they needed to do a long time ago. I just bought the white and red one. And I pledged for it, so I wear the white and red one. I actually have a better skin. It's the all red one with, like, the Crusader logos on the ones. However, it just disappeared from my inventory. I don't know what happened. It's gone, though, until the next patch, I guess. It's still in my hangar, so I still own it. It's just, you know... Not here. Let's get these guns on a stagger. And jump away. I'm not sure if you guys have seen, but they're actually reworking how quantum travel works and looks. And it looks very nice. Everyone say hi to Yella. It's cool moon. For some reason... Why is there smoke over there? What happened? Hold on. What is that? It's a Drake Cutter and a Drake Vulture and a Constellation Andromeda just sitting out here. Hold on. Hold on. I want to check this out. What the hell are you doing here? Huh. Just three abandoned ships sitting out in the middle of space. Does it have any cargo on it? Maybe. Open gun, power clone 2, whatever, fine. Doesn't look like it. And again, you never know until you crack it open. This does, this looks like a Ninetales colony. Oh, the cargo bay is not even there. It's gone. That vulture is damaged. This thing got anything in it? Checking, scanning. You'd think the smaller the ship, the easier it would be to scan, but what do I know? No cargo. Does Vulture have anything good? Oh, I gotta be real gentle here. They're all damaged. Oh, what happened? Also, this ship is great, except for sometimes when it isn't. This thing does not like tight spaces, because, as you can tell, it's very wide. It is a very wide ship. Why is it so wide? Beats me. My only thought press is... How do you have zero SU of a, of a material? It must be in the, the the thingy. Okay, well, we're leaving. That was useless. Didn't even need to do that, but hey, it was worth looking. Um, I forgot what I was saying. It was going to be something profound. I don't remember. Oh god, asteroid belt. Always fun to fight in, especially when they're going to be in high, high tier combat ships. Now this thing is not a combat ship. It is definitely not. It is a cargo ship. However, I don't care. Didn't ask uh, L plus ratio. Those are small rocks. Okay, miss those. Um, no, I like to use it as a... It has four size threes. It's pretty respectable. Um, same amount as some medium fighters, I believe. I think the Saber all has four size threes. Granted, this is a much larger platform than the Saber, but, you know, still fire. Same firepower. One thing that sucks is no fucking turret. These look to be my trespassing in a d I mean trespassing. This is outrageous. I, I'm using rattler missiles as well, which I really like. I'm gonna launch two of them. Because rattler missiles are really cool. Because they're cluster missiles. They'll go out a ways, and then once they get close, they'll just kind of... Whoosh, yeah, like that. And just all of a sudden, he just got hit by, you know, 30 missiles. I don't actually know how many releases, but it's a lot. Seems to me like I didn't do a whole lot to him, though. I also gotta be really careful with this ship, too, because it is massive, for one, so it's a really big target. But also, it has really little shielding. It has the same shield as the Cutlass Black, which is sad. But luckily for me, the AI doesn't seem to realize that I'm shooting them. <laughs> Ooh, there is some cargo there, though. Uh, what do we got? Vanguard Warden? Ooh, that's not what I want. That's a cross-section missile. That sucks. Ow. That sucks a lot, actually. Because... No, no. You don't want to launch missiles at me. No, no, no. I don't have the means to fight off cross-section missiles because I am a massive cross-section. Come on. Can I get you? No, I did a lot of damage with that pass, though. And he doesn't seem to be too, you know, concerned that I'm right next to him. There he goes. Hello, friend. God, I love these quarrelers. They sound so cool listening to this. Never, never mind, don't listen to this because the audio is really muffled for some reason. Hmm. 
I'm getting good hits on him. He's not doing too much to me, though. Thank God. That size 4 nose bone is actually really scary for me. Anything with size 4 is only scary. Down. Next. Collision alert. Oh, no, no, no. Where is he? He's over here. Is he mad at me? He is mad at me. Okay. He's just real slow about it. I don't know what's happening. Oh god, he has a C. Oh, that's a... That's a danger gun. That is a very danger gun. That is a scary danger gun. That thing has what you would call a size 4 high explosive gun on the nose, and that can take out my components if it hits too close. And it's mostly all ballistic. Ouch. That hurts. Son of a bitch! Can I get it? Shouldn't be too bad. I'm laying into it pretty good. It's taking a lot of damage. It's- I just hit- <laughs> I cut off an engine, apparently. And he didn't like that. That's gonna hurt. He's lining that nose up on me again. He can't maneuver very well, because, you know, he's missing a thruster. So he's just gonna kind of start spinning like this. I'm just gonna kind of sit still, though, because eventually- OW! Target. Damn! <laughs> Okay, can I find where that... Oh god, can I find that freelancer? It's gonna be a difficult task to find that. Oh boy, where did I kill that guy at? It had to be somewhere near here, right? I don't think I drifted 14 kilometers, there's no way. I didn't go that far. 10? Maybe. Also, it says I'm trespassing, which means there might be a... There might be a ship out that way, which I could take a look at. See if there's any good cargo in it. I'm gonna check out over here, see if these are anything special. And then I'll just flip a 180 and I'll head back that way, see if I can find that ship that I'm trespassing in. Trespassing. Mine's keepers. Okay, just some rocks. Can't use rocks. I'm not a mining ship. So let us go back this way. Ooh, that was the wrong button. Let's see if I can go find that other thing. Maybe if I'm lucky I'll stumble across that uh, salvage vehicle. I wanted the stuff that was off of that uh, freelancer dur, but I can't seem to find it. Where was I trespassing at? Aha! I'm getting closer to it. What is it? Still looking with the vanguards, switching targets to see if we can find anything. We keep going this way. It must be a smaller ship, is my guess. Just, I'm not seeing much of anything here. I shut my whore mouth. It's a hammerhead. What are you doing here, friend? You're stop death, right? I'm not gonna roll up to you and just get absolutely butchered. Right? Please tell me you're not moving. What did, what did I just pick up? There's another hammerhead. I just stumbled across the field to do two dead hammerheads. Well, you know what hammerheads have usually? A cargo bay. This ship seems to have lost all its turrets. And its cargo bay. Which sucks. What about this other one, though? Oh, you. You got anything for me? Maybe. We'll see. That'll stop on another mission. I hopefully get one in atmosphere instead of uh, uh, in space. It's really easy to get the cargo in, in atmosphere. It's not easy in space. It goes very poorly in space, actually. I'm just fine. All types of goodies are here, though. Another nine tails. Missing all of its turrets. What happened to you guys? Looks like they got butchered out here. Yeah, no. Let's get into a cargo bay. Let me just hit it with one of these and see what happens. I take it back. This is a neutral ship. If I blow it up, I might get hit with the crime side, even if it was pirate at one point. Let's just go here. 
I wanted to find that that freelancer dirt. That's the wrong thing. I wanted to find that ship because I wanted to take the cargo from it. I couldn't find it. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Here. Okay. Sec security place. Uh. This is an atmosphere on oh, Selen. Interesting. Gotta love ye old crusader off there in the distance again with being blinded by the sun. I like yellow. I do. I think Delamar is one of my favorite moons still though. Delamar is just so characteristic of itself. Like it, it has a lot to it. Fancy caves, everything. All the rest of them are just kind of, you know, generic caves and outposts. Wall is kind of cool with its like gemstones in the ground, but like it's still just kind of another moon. Selden fills that same gap for me. It's like, wow. Yep, yeah, that's a moon. It's everything moon should be. So I mean, they, they did it right, but I like a little more substance. Not that Daymar has a lot of substance to it, but what can I say? Sand dunes are more interesting to me than uh, moon rocks. I'd say hot take, but probably not really. Meantime, I got a victim here 22 kilometers away. I have the wonderful quantum uh, spooling bug. There we go. I want to shoot those guns so I can actually, you know, you guys can hear them, but they, I'm always accelerating. Now I'm Redding out because I'm decelerating a little too fast. What do we got here? Freelancer. Perfect. Oh god, a gladiator. Those things are actually super tanky. I'm going to take out the gladiator first if I can. Uh, how many people are here? Okay, actually, let me deal with that talent track first. Interesting. Oh god. Did you really have to launch the missile when I was right there? Come on. I'm gonna deal with this Talon first. Talons are fast maneuverable fighters. That is a scythe as well. Oh god. I wanna deal with this Talon first, because Talons are very, very uh light fighters. They die fast. I think there was two bounties stacked at the same place. All I know now is I'm getting the shit shot out of me from some direction. What are you? Gladiator, come here. No, you're the glaive. One of them has ballistics because they're shredding into my whole right now. Come here. I'm not done with you yet. I'm gonna see if I can pull this fight away from the uh, outpost a little, just a little bit. I'm gonna pull them away just so that way when they do get shot down, I can pick up their stuff without worrying about getting yoinked by the many, many turrets on that uh, outpost. God, this thing's hard to hit. Don't ram me, bro. Target oh. destroyed. Reliant Tana, come here. Just took out an engine, I think. Shields are still down. This guy should go down real soon. Down. We got a gladiator and something else still. What are you? Avenger Titan. Let's deal with you. This is the ballistics guy. Shit. Shit. Dead. Next target. Let me continue to try to pull him away from the thing. I've taken a decent amount of damage, but it's fine. I think I got just the gladiator. Yeah, I just got the gladiator and the other guy, so this should be pretty easy. Gladiators do kind of hit kind of hard, though, so I gotta be careful about it. If I'm lucky, I can soft hit that freelancer, though, and you won't get cargo. Come on, gladiator. Sit down. God, you have a lot of pew. You really don't. You're just kind of scary. You have a lot of missiles on you. Okay, and now I come here and come on, bolt. Easy. Freelancer, where are you at, buddy? You coming towards me? Should be. You aren't. Why aren't you coming towards me? You should be very angry at me. Come get me. Okay, you are shooting at me. Are you coming? Okay, yeah, he's coming. Slowly, but he's got—he is coming. Okay. Don't take it out of context. It's fine. I'm try and aggro him a little bit by giving him a couple quick little PV view. You know, there you go. Quick little PV views. Perfect. A few more. Come on. 
I know you want me. Come on. Let me lay into him a little bit. Because I don't want him to get closer to that, that base. That's right there with all the turrets. I would like him to get closer to me. He doesn't seem to want to get closer to me, so I'm just going to like lay into him and, while he's sitting completely still and not fighting back. Feels kind of mean, actually. If I get him to soft death before actually dying, maybe when he hits the ground he might go, might not instantly kaboom. Yeah, he does not seem to be fighting back all too well, though. Ah, there it goes. I got him soft death, too. Cool. Okay, now we just follow him in and hope that he doesn't, you know, disintegrate when he hits the ground. Land softly, land softly, land softly, land softly. I was hoping for a little softer than that. But that works. Honestly, that works. Oh, he's jumping now. He's lagging a little bit. Now, this guy being a free... Why do freelancers never land? Okay, I have shot down a bunch of freelancers at Atmosphere. They always land upside down. They have never once landed right side up. Let's see, does he have any cargo on him? Oh, he does have cargo on him. Oh, you shouldn't have. Okay, uh, my gear down. My gear's down. Cool. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to use a tractor beam on this or if I'm going to use, you know, just a hand tractor beam. The tractor beam's nice, but it's not super duper useful. It's cool. Uh, good addition. I'm personally more of a fan of just loading by hand. I'm sure that'll change once they, you know, actually change what I can and can't grab. Because right now I can just grab whatever I want. I think there is a size limit on, like, ships and stuff, but the multi-tool tractor beam is way too strong. I'm expecting that to get nerfed to, like... I don't know. One and two SCU boxes can be used by the multi-tool. Anything bigger than that's probably going to be the rifle. And I think once you get past like 16-ish, you're probably going to need a vehicle tractor beam, is what I'm thinking. But then again, those are just ramblings from an idiot, so don't believe me entirely. Open that door up. Oh, hell yeah. You got me lots of stuff in there. Now, actually... I didn't mean to pull this one down. So this is a drug, by the way. Um, Widow. This is another drug. Distilled spirits. Not a drug, but I think still illegal in certain, certain places. And more Widow. More drugs. Nothing too much. And then I got another small box of Altrucia Toxin. I will load this using this, but I just want to get it out of... Out of I'll, I'll load it using my tractor beam, but I'm just, I just want to pull it out of the ship first, just because it can get real dicey when you're trying to unload stuff from the inside. Slam is actually very valuable. I'm going to yoink that. Uh, what's this? More slam? Oh, you shouldn't have. Such a good donation. More slam. Beautiful. See, this is what I live for. Bounty hunting itself is nice. It's good money. This is free money. And again, it's not illegal, because I didn't buy the drugs. I'm simply offloading them, okay? I think I got them all. I would like to, like, check inside to see if that middle section... Uh, do I want to grab the guns? Nah, because they're only, what, size threes, right? Yeah. I would like to check that middle compo compartment, but I think they don't put anything in there anymore, because there used to be, like, a little cargo pad in the middle, but, like, the doors are too small to fit anything through. Okay, so we're going to load up using the vehicle tractor beam just so that way I can get some use out of it and say it's useful. Now normally you'd have somebody else. This is supposed to be a two-man ship, but that's the same way as saying the Cutlass is a two-man ship. It's a one-man ship, but the second person helps out. Like on the Cutlass, it's, you know, they operate a turret. On the uh, Freelancer, they operate a turret. Power on. I'm going to deploy it first, because it gets mad otherwise, and then I'm going to enter my rope turret while it's moving back. Alright. Let's load some bigger boxes first. Now how you do this is you hold Alt and you scroll wheel, in case you didn't know. R is still rotate. R and scroll wheel is how you, you know, rotate like that, but you have to hold Alt and scroll wheel to move it for some reason. My guess is because it interferes with some other things. Loading is a little difficult, a little tight, because you have to do that, but once you're in, it's pretty easy. Now we just go like this and slide that all the way to the front. Could I do this faster with the normal hand trim beam? Probably. Am I gonna? No. 
Helps receive toxin. Not the most valuable drug, but still, good drugs. Since I can do this just whenever I want, it's great. And again, the, so this mission itself was like, what, 11000 12000 dollars for, for uh, taking out the, those ships? Technically it's worth more than that if you have called arms, but, you know, it's whatever. I, since I did all these goody two-shoes things, I'm going to probably make, assuming I can sell, we're going to swing by Brio's, which is the hot spot for piracy. We're going to swing by there and see if we can sell. Um, more Altricea toxin somewhere. Still spirits. Slam, 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 widow. Ah, uh, ha. Uh, we're going to swing by Brio's breaker yard. It is the very hot spot for, uh, very large hotspot for piracy just because it's so popular to sell drugs at there are there is one on hurston there's also one on udp which is one of the moons of microtech um i forgot where the names right now but um uh, a brios is the one that's closest to me and i don't want to fly halfway across the system to go sell so i'm going to risk it at brios call again what was that was that widow what are you okay yeah you're widow widow is right there okay uh, there's another widow in here, right? That one's slam, 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 widow. What are you? You're distilled spirits. Okay. I'm your widow. My nose itch is so bad right now. I'm dying. Now. Oh, that one's not attached. Drop that there. No. Drop it now, it's snapped. Okay. Now you'll notice that my cargo hold isn't very full. It's because this isn't many drugs. However, I'm still going to sell them, because they are worth a lot of money. This is a pretty good assortment of things. I might not be able to sell the old spirits. I've had issues trying to sell those places before, which is weird. You'd think people, people love alcohol, so why wouldn't people buy it? I don't know. Fun fact, you can actually fling around a Corsair when you're not in gravity with this tractor beam, so it's pretty powerful. It's not the most powerful tractor in the game, that would go to the SRV, which is a dedicated space tugboat, but hey, it's worth a shot. Contract available, job opportunity, wow, I can't even iterate how much I don't care. They really need to add in, um, they really need to add in um, ways to turn off those price alerts and stuff. It is so painful. To just see that pop up on your screen every 10 minutes let's go here and dump this in there like that perfect i believe that's all of it let me just shake this uh ship down real quick make sure it is you got any more thing more for me all right we're cool just shaking to make sure no cargo is sitting in the middle of it oh cool wait can i land it can i land it can i land it boom actually Give me a sec. I just pressed U that might have turned the power off on my ship by accident, but it's fine. Turn it back on. I'm gonna go check that out. I wanna see. I'm getting greedy. Shouldn't do this. I'm getting ballsy. Shouldn't do that. And look, my cargo grid is half full ish, which is not bad. I'm going to run over here and I'm gonna check over that mid compartment. Now, I don't know if there's a way for me to get the stuff out of it. There's some missiles there I could join, but missiles are, funnily enough, worthless. The guns that are on ships are worth more than the missiles. Which doesn't make a lot of sense, but hey. Don't blow up, don't blow up, don't blow up. Okay, they still do have the cargo grid here. I imagine this cargo grid is going to go away, because I don't think boxes can fit through here. So I imagine this cargo grid right here is probably going to go away. They might make this like the component room, which would make a lot of sense. Uh, there's also a docking ring with no way to get out. There's like no ladder or anything, so I'm not sure what they were thinking there, but hey. This is, I wonder if he's, is he's still in here. No, he's gone. Okay. Alright, well, it's lovely seeing you, Freelancer. It's been a very long time since I've flown one of these. It's a neat little ship. This actually got me started in the game. Um, there was a bug way, 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 way back where bed logging didn't work. And for some reason, giving every single player a Freelancer fixed the bug. I don't know how that works. I don't know why it worked. But it worked. Funnily enough. And so... 
everyone just had a freelancer for a long time, so that was actually like my go-to get around ship when I first started the game. It was great. Uh, I think my very first Star Citizen video, I was actually flying that freelancer. So it's, it was a nice little ship. Um, I would never get it again, just because I like being able to carry things. Like this ship back there, you can see, has enough room to fit a vehicle. Even when the cargo grid is full, you can still fit a small like STV or PTV in the back. Um, in that little room where the components are, I've heard that you can actually fit a rock, which is nice. It's good. It's tight, but I think you can fit one. So it's pretty nice. Turn my scanner. Let's go ahead and take off here. Engines are on. All right, let's get out of here. All my free cargo that I found. And now these aren't my drugs. I'm just holding them from, them from somebody else. Also known as that freelancer that's sitting on the ground. It's fine. Let me check the chat real quick to see if there's anything. I don't see anyone talking about uh, Prios. That doesn't mean that Prios isn't populated. We're going to swing by there. It looks like we're going to be on the sunny side of the planet, which I am A-OK -okay with. I like being on the sunny side of the planet because I can actually see what's happening. I can't jump to that orbital marker. That's interesting that you would give me that one. You'd let me jump to that calm area. I don't trust that. I'm gonna go to the. I'm gonna jump halfway to yellow. Now, okay. Word of advice for you if you're playing the game. Make sure you check your destination before you just jump. Make sure you know how much fuel you have. Make sure you can make it. Make sure you're not gonna fly through another planet to get there. <laughs> I don't want to go to. Oh, this is gonna be a really difficult one to jump to unless I'm lucky. I want to go to Daymark. Okay, 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 okay. Hold B. Hands up. Let's go! Did it. So the damage on my ship looking like from the, that engagement? It's not terrible. There's a few dings, but I think some of those were already there. On my brand new ship that I just got. It's fine. Aha, Brios. This is where we're going. If we're lucky, there won't be anyone there. If we aren't lucky, ah, <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully no pirates in the server. We'll get lucky. If there is a pirate, I might try to run. We can go to Hurston, I guess. It's not that far. I'll cut out the flight for you so you don't have to experience that. But we will see. And we're here. We'll see. Sometimes you can land here and there's not anyone hostile. As long as the comm rays up, I should be safer. Safer doesn't mean I'm safe, but it is safer. See, so yeah, look how nice Damar is. It's like got some nice canyon things. It's got a, actually a crashed uh, javelin you can go to. It's got a bunch of unique sand caves. Scan. Okay, I'm picking anything up. Not picking up any vehicles. Not picking. Up. Oh fuck! There, there's an SRV here. Interesting. Interesting. He is the only ship here, though. There's also some cargo up over here. So there's something up over here. What is it? Is it a rock? Ah, uh, hand mineables. That marker's under the ground. I'm not gonna worry about it. I don't think I need to worry about an SRV. SRVs usually aren't too harmful. If I'm lucky, it's an abandoned one. Take a look. It does look to be kind of capsized and s yeah, that's stuck. It is upside down. Major torque imbalance is the wonderful engine light of this game. I'm gonna land right here, that two two story building over there is where I'm going to. We're gonna land fast, get the hell out of here. Here's down, okay. I'm down. Okay, now I'm gonna bail. I'm gonna run as fast as I can and get on that thing. Anyone in chat talking about Brios? Let's talk about Brios. Okay, I'm running. No, I wanna up offload this stuff as fast as I can. The distilled spirits might not sell, that's fine. Not getting shot at, not getting shot at, not getting shot at, okay cool. 
I'm closing my ramp so no one else can get in my ship and yoink it. It's closing. I'm going. Now if I can get to this building, get in, sell my stuff fast enough, I should be fine. Why is there an inferno here? I didn't see that. Okay, cool. I don't hear anyone. We're selling. See one spirit. There's no demand for Slammer Widow. Fuck! That's the downside to being at a... Bri oh, you son of a bitch. I just got killed. So that's the danger of Brios. You hate to see it. You really hate to see it. Damn. I'm curious to know. Why did he do it when the when the con oh, comrade was up? I mean, I'm, I'm sure he just doesn't realize. But I'm curious to know. Is he in here? There are bounties? Uh, this one here. Uh, no, that's for Hurston. Seder. This one here? No, that's apprehension. Group warrant. Okay, I don't have it. If he does have one, I don't have it. That's fine. Damn. You really hate to see it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, grab a like, and if you're in the next, subscribe to some more. I will see all of you in the next video. Deuces.